It's a big universe out there, and NASA's newest telescope is giving us a look at the very beginnings of that universe. A picture of galaxies more than 13 billion light years away. Lana Zag joins us now with a closer look at what's so far away. Hey, John, isn't it great to just be talking about the mysteries of the world and some great news for a while? It has been likened to the greatest scientific discoveries of all time. The James Webb Space Telescope revealing new data about the very foundation of our existence. Let me go ahead and show you. The very first image is captured by Webb in deep space, displaying galaxies that have never before been seen. And they are so far away, the light took more than 13 billion years to reach the telescope, meaning that we are literally, in this image, looking back in time. The $10 billion project involved 20,000 people, and it captures infrared images that are, that are literally invisible to the human eye. And right now, the telescope is parked at the L2 observation point. Scientists uh, say that, uh, that this is essential because at this location, about a million miles from the Earth, it's orbiting the sun, it's caught in this sort of gravitational pull that keeps it right where we want it. And Webb is focusing on areas like the Carina Nebula. It's considered a stellar nursery. This is an image that was taken before by Hubble. And you can see deep in all of this gas and, and galactic debris that there are baby stars being incubated. And in this way, the James Webb Space Telescope looks through all of that and shows the very first images of these baby stars, almost like a celestial ultrasound. And John, all of us are the happy relations. Yeah. It really makes those uh, problems on the to-do list seem a little insignificant in the space of time, uh, in the face of time and eternity. Um, but help me understand how those amazing Hubble images um, are different from what we're learning from Webb. Well, they are designed to actually look at the universe through different lenses. Webb uses uh, infrared images, while Hubble uses optical. And what this boils down to is that Webb is capable of looking further back in time by measuring that heat. And it has a range that is far beyond Hubble. I actually want to show you something. Take a look at this image. This is what we could see before. And this is the same image now taken from Webb. See how much clearer the image are of these galaxies and the sun, and all of these suns, rather. One of the scientists working with the data said where Hubble revealed 10,000 galaxies in deep field, Webb will reveal a million. But John, Webb shouldn't really be thought of as a replacement for Hubble. It's more like its successor. The ambitious goals of Webb were motivated by Hubble's results, and the mission is ambitious. Let me read to you just a little piece of it to study every phase of 13.5 billion years of cosmic history. You know, how's that for a mission statement? Well, and, we'll, and we'll see more images tomorrow. Not just a new chapter, but a whole new set of books of our universe. Lana Zach, thank you so much.